full warning, I have a sick and twisted mind. You still wanna be friends? I'ma call y'all queen, but we on Uncle Don today. Uncle Don, Uncle Don. Uncle Don. Miami with it. Oh. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Girl, now she will probably get hey, look, choked for this shit. She will for a good time, not a long time. Okay. Hey, we lit. Yeah. Look, I'm from England. I met the prettiest girl from my high Beautiful. Best girl I've ever met. A few moments later. Let me guess, your girlfriend or wife would never do that to you, right? You take care of the bills, you take her to different restaurants, you bought her a dog, you help pay for her car, you put her through school, you've done all these different things, you've met the in-laws, you've sacrificed for her, you've given tons of time and attention and validation, you've really put her on a pedestal. So your girl can never cheat on you, right? She can never flirt with other guys. She can never get guys over. She would never kiss another guy. Oh, you're wrong. Trust me. And you probably think my girl would never be disloyal to me. The bond that we have built, the trust that we have for each other. Uh, trust me, man, dearest, you're wrong. Let me tell you right now. When a woman is in a different habitat, when she is in a different area, when she's going to a club or a bar or a place that she's never been and she's excited, I'm telling you, nine times out of ten, she's not going to be who you think she really is. See, every woman has a promiscuous side, a freaky side that most likely she would never show you. You probably get the starfish sex, the boring type of sex, and, and you know, she's kind of laying there and, and she's give you some sort of physical companionship, but it's not like the physical companionship she's going to give those guys in Miami. And she's from Ohio, from the Midwest, so it's cold. Trust me, I'm from Chicago, and I know how these women get out. These women are in the house, they're watching Netflix, they're, they're sitting around, and as soon as it hits 65, 70 degrees outside, these women are out. They got short skirts on, they have crop tops, they're wearing this. You're like, yo, where do these females come from? What? Yo, what? Because it's warm out. So she's from Ohio. She goes down to Miami. How do you think she's going to act? You think she's going to just have a few drinks and just hang out and talk to guys or reject guys? No. She's going to exercise her options because to her and like to most women, you only live one life. You have to live your best life, sis. Period. They love to say that, right? See, this is empowering to a lot of women. This is what strong and independent means. It means to date around, it means to have a lot of options. It means to go viral. And this is what a lot of women want. They think that going viral and, 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 and talking to a lot of guys and, and saying, hey, I'm able to get this guy and that guy, that that's so cool. That's so strong, girl. Listen, the vast majority of men will bang a tree if you drill a hole in there. Trust me. If it gives them some sort of sexual satisfaction, these dudes will do it. So to a woman to say, I got all these guys. I got this guy. Look at this guy. Look, look at this guy with me. That, that's like nothing. Because most dudes will have sex with a lot of different chicks, even if a female that he's not even attracted to. This is what happens. And she goes home and she just laying up with her dude. And dude probably like, I don't even know what's going on. Hey, babe, how was your trip? He gives her a kiss on the lips and the forehead. And she's like, oh, it was fun. Uh, I just rode a, 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 a go-kart or something like that. I went to the beach and we had a couple of drinks. Oh, that's it? You're like, yeah, that's it. We didn't really do much. It, it wasn't really a lot going on. But trust me, it, a lot of stuff happens in our phone. Because there's a thing. With women, they like to keep different experiences in their phone. 
A phone has everything. For most men, we're pretty much focused on our goals, our mission, our purpose. We're not really out there sightseeing. We're not really taking pictures like that and videos. That's for the females because that's attention and validation for them. That lets them know that, listen, look, I'm wanted by this guy. I'm wanted by this guy. This is what I want to do over here. This is what I want to do. Uh, men, we just pretty much got a photogenic memory. You remember a girl who has a big butt that you saw probably a few months or a few years ago. You're not going to really take a picture. Women, they're like, oh, that guy's attractive. Let me get a picture with him because those type of guys she would never see in Ohio. This is why women take pictures and everything. They keep it in the phone because the type of guys that she was taking pictures with, that she was around, you can tell they weren't really of the caliber of her boyfriend that she had at home in Ohio. This is facts. You can go back and look at all the dudes. And trust me, I told, like I said, I live in the Midwest. So you don't see those type of guys there and, and she's excited and, and, and oh, look at me. And all these people are watching. This is why she's excited to go viral. Kill two birds with one stone. She gets all the attention from the guys. And on top of that, she gets attention from everybody else. So now she's a celebrity in her little old world. Guys, can you trust women? No, you can trust them as far as you can throw them. And the vast majority of women weigh more than you on average. What you can trust is you to be the guy who you're going to be. And if a woman does cheat or mess around, that's nothing you can do. You can't have standards and you can say no girls trips, no girls night outs, uh, no going over here. You know, and if she's like, why can't I do that? Because you're easily influenced. That's why you can't do that, sweetheart. Because and if you want to go out or do whatever, OK, this, this situation, the relationship, this marriage is over because what she's inviting is unwanted attention. And she's going to sit around and drink or drink at the club and she's just going to be eyeballing dudes. And all it takes is that one dude. Who has some swag, who has a little aura about him, who's like, oh, hey, how's it going? And, and he introduces himself and she's like, oh, boom. That's the end of your relationship or marriage. That's the beginning of the end. Guys, you can't trust women. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. You can trust yourself and you can trust uh, probably your parents. But overall, women, for the most part, there's, there's no really trusting them because honestly, they're run by their emotions. They're run by their feelings. So if they're feeling good, like she's in the warm weather and they're feeling a certain way, they're going to act on those feelings and emotions. They're going to justify by saying, uh, well, we were just having fun. Guys, you know how many different things women do on, on girls trips? Trust me, I've dealt with a lot of different women. I go to a different spot. I've been to Miami. You go over here, you go over there and women are kind of sightseeing or little tourists and like, oh, you know, you only live once. So you got, you know, you got to try this. Man, they're down to try any and everything. Because to them, it's like, wow, I can't believe I experienced that. That was cool. That was awesome. And I'll be honest, it's way easier for women to cheat. I've said this before. Man, if you go down to Miami, you got to, you know, shoot your shot. You got to do different things. Even if you're on point, women can still reject you. Well, women, it's like, you know, they got this dude. They got that dude, that dude, that dude. I mean, they don't really got to put in any work at all. And to be honest with you, the guy from London, she's like, oh, you're so sexy. Nah, she not, <laughs> let's just be honest, uh, she's average at best. Let's keep it real. So guys, just understand that your girl going to different places without you and going over here to have fun, what that really means is she's trying to uh, scout other guys or she's just trying to see how it used to feel when she used to get all that attention in the past before she met you when she was single. Because every woman loves validation. Let's be honest. Every woman needs attention and, and to, to feel good. And men, we get validation from when we go out and work, when we go out and hunt, when we get promotions, when we build a business, when we bring, bring in more money, different streams of income, when we achieve different things. Women get validation not from that. They get validation from other men, outside sources. This is why it's so easy for women to be manipulated. And it's like, yo, if you're not following my lead, if you ain't listen to my rules, I don't want it. This is why chicks on Instagram and all these different social media platforms, if she has a TikTok and she has all that, bro, you might as well just get rid of her because she's going to expose her entire life just for a little bit of attention. I mean, I'm just how it is. She'll get, take pictures, she'll do this, and your whole situation, your relationship, your marriage will go down the drain just for a like or two. It's sad. But this is the reality of most modern women. Attention and validation means everything to them. Them being wanted by other people, other men, that means more to her.
then your relationship, the little foundation, the, uh, the life that you guys have built.